Hey there, Heather Boyd Wire here, and it's another episode of Tip Tuesday. Today we're going to learn how to make some little wire angel wing beads that you can use to make earrings and pendants. So what you're going to need for this project are your tools, some earring hooks, a couple of head pins, two round beads, they're six millimeter, a couple of teardrop beads, spacer beads, and about six to eight inches of 20 or 22 gauge wire. This is artistic copper wire. So we're going to make the wings kind of like those wings that you can buy at craft stores that you can string onto the head pin, but we're going to make our own. So start in the middle of the wire and just make a circle and you want the head pin to be able to fit through the ends. So I've just done it like that and then I'm just going to bend these back to make it sort of centered. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. So same thing in the middle. We'll just make our circle because what we want to do is form the two a little bit at the same time. You know, that's my earring hack to get the earrings the same size. And then we're going to straighten these out. Just straighten out the wires a little bit. And then we want to line them up. And then what you want to do is just form the outside of the wings. So we're just going to bend this up, both of them together, straighten it out. And we can get our larger round pliers to hold this in place here. Okay. And check it, see how it looks. And then bring this, like do a kind of a loopy formation, just so you have the outside shape of the wing. And then decide where you want to bend it. So we're going to bend it here. And then we're just going to put a little bend where we want our first loop to be. So this is optional. You could form this loop after because at least you had the beginning stages of the wing so you can take that and just bend it up okay so we've got that and now we have to do the other side so same thing we're going to hold these together put these the pliers here bend these up okay and get our bigger pliers if you don't have larger round pliers i guess you could just bend it around um, a marker or a pen but it's easier with the pliers because you can hold them the two together Okay, and you do the same kind of curve that you did before. Sometimes it helps to measure it with a ruler or with a measurement on your pliers. Okay, and then we can double check it here. And then you're going to take this one, same thing, bend it, and then do the little the little bend up where the first loop will go. So the next thing we want to do is we want this loop to be perpendicular. So we're going to hold that loop in place and then very gently bend these a half turn. Okay, we're going to bend them like a little half turn the wings. Okay, and then that way this loop is perpendicular and we'll be able to slide it onto the head pin. So now we're going to form our little loops in the wings. So just take your round pliers, twist it around, do a little loop, we're working the same way where we're going to work towards the back and then bring this one to and just do another little loop and bring that up. And then to finish it, we want to wrap it around here. So we're going to hold it and just give it a single wrap around. Okay, single wrap around there and cut it. And then the same on this side. So we'll give it a little loop with our small round pliers. Give that a little push with your fingernail or end of your finger. Okay, and then another one, little loop. And the wings, you can make any kind of formation that you want. This is a nice little design. Okay. And adjust them so they're more or less the same. They don't have to be perfectly symmetrical. 
and hold that in place and then loop that around. So this is fun. You have these little wings that you could stick on your head pin. So now we're going to take the wings, put them at the side, put the teardrop bead first and then the wings next and then the six millimeter bead for the head the little spacer bead for the halo and we want to hold this firmly and clip that to about half an inch okay take our pliers round pliers pull it back and then do our loop right here and then you're going to add your hook at the top just open it up stick it on and there you have your super cute little angel earrings so thanks so much for watching the video give it a big thumbs up if you liked it be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more diy wire art and jewelry making videos Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your work, be sure to join the Facebook group, the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club, where we share photos of our work and lots of inspiration. And if you'd like to check out our wire work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and custom jewelry, all out of wire, so you can check out the shop. I'll link it up below. If you'd like to join my mailing list, you can sign up below and I have a little free ebook that also shares all my favorite tools and my materials, wires and beads, etc. So thanks for watching and we'll see you the next time.